Alright, pretty cool. Damn, okay. He just outright killed all of them. Well, one of those stalkers was weak. I guess the other... I guess it just does enough damage to kill all the other ones. Are those the Velociraptors? Apex Claw Striders. I forget, we could just call them out. I'm guessing it's just a bunch of claw striders out here, huh? Hi, guys! Eh, I didn't really do much. There you go, you guys handle that. Yeah, the Tanakh just have, like, a ridiculous amount of land to themselves. That's pretty crazy. Glow Blast Tripcaster. Um, plasma Tripcasters leave a deadly pool of plasma. Yeah, no, I don't really want any of these weapons. That's fine. Utaru Gravesinger. Evader. Dodge roll more times before stumble. You stumble in this game? Oh, that's a warrior ability? I've no I literally have not noticed that. Wait a minute. Are you fucking serious? Where the fuck, where the fuck is it? It's, it said it was a warrior tree. I don't see it here. You stumble when you evade in this game? That I That is literally news to me. Literally played the game for multiple hours. Never noticed you stumble when dodge rolling. Because I played games with, with like a dodge roll like cooldown. I played multiple games with it. Uh... The biggest one I could think of off the top of my head was um, 007 uh, Everything or Nothing. You can only dodge roll twice in that game before the third dodge roll, you take a half second to like stand up again. I remember that because you could use the dodge, you use it in a couple of levels if you're trying to like beat them really fast and stuff. One of the levels I really liked a lot, but I thought was really hard, but I really learned to like and master as I got older was... Um, a level called a simple exchange if you've ever played the game you know what i'm talking about a simple exchange is just like a very straightforward level it's it's almost like uh like i don't know it's kind of like an old school type of level basically the what they want you to do is i think you like you only have like a minute to complete the mission but in that minute you need to like press a button downstairs get upstairs and you can't be spotted the whole time so like the real the way you do it and the way I did it was like you, you do a bunch of dodge rolls right at the start you like properly knock people out because they give you like a stun pistol or something and um then you have to like roll up the stairs or some shit I forget it's been a long time that's why I kind of wanted to play 007 everything or nothing this year because I've literally not done a playthrough of that game like a full playthrough on my own since like 2006 or something it's literally been like over a decade you saw that thing spawn it's literally been like over a decade so now wait a minute how could there be a tall neck out in the in the water it's really kind of crazy honestly My only thing is, like, what's the point of doing a lot of this stuff? There's no reason for me to get any more points to level. Oh, shit, I didn't mean to do that. is this place oh, I guess we're not supposed to stop here this is like a, a private city or something I 
unidentified signal. <laughs> it slumps over like. Ugh. Damn, I shot it right in the eye. Look at that. That was like a, a pinpoint shot. Just a little bit above the eye. You fucking nailed him. I don't get it. I never understood what you're supposed to do with this. Oh. Okay. I wasn't sure how you were supposed to do that before. That's fine. What? Bro, you cannot have invisible walls this bad. No. That's awful. Oh, but you could jump out these windows. Uh-oh. Uh Okay, that's not going to work. For some reason, this this whole building has like weird invisible walls around it. Like you can't jump out of any of that. I, I don't know. No, it's, it's a video game. It's fine. Okay. I think I'm out of range at the Vista point. I'm going to try again. That's okay. We don't care. I was supposed to turn off from over here. God damn it. It's like when you play Fallout, you just try to jump off of shit, like, awkwardly, you know? Same thing in all these open world games, although this area has, like, really bad invisible walls. Like, what the fuck? Everything else was, like, kind of fine up until now. Sons of Prometheus, probably. We're finally gonna deal with them. Hold your fire! I'm not here to fight! The barbarians pin down. Into the ruins. Oh shit, there's a lot of them. I fucking. Eh, okay, they don't. These guys don't wear helmets. Don't worry, it's a minor suggestion, though an arrow to the face. Okay. Ah, I didn't expect a third hit. He ducked. Okay, cool. You get a lot of experience for human kills. Probably more than, like, basic enemy kills, but definitely not, like, a shit ton, you know? A Quen Marine. Hi. Yeah, this this might be where the melee comes in handy. Okay. Now he's burning and dazed. <laughs> Look, that's gotta be painful. Holy shit. Fast in case there's more of them. 
Yeah, guaranteed it won't be this easy. Maybe we could have asked Hikaru about some of this, but I guess not. Fast biotech. Looks like some sort of old office complex. Okay. is kind of similar to what we looked at at the start of the game a little bit. No flower. Demeter should be right beyond that door. Yeah, here we go. What the fuck? Function true. I had a dream which was not all a dream. The bright sun was extinguished, and the stars did wander darkling the eternal space, rayless and pathless, and the icy earth swung blind and blackening in the moonless air. Morn came and went and came and brought no day, and the men forgot their passions in the dread of this their desolation, and all hearts were chilled into a selfish prayer for light. And they did live by watchfires in the thrones, the palaces of crown kings, the huts, the habitations of all things which dwell, were burnt for beacons, the cities were consumed, and men were gathered uh, round their blazing homes to look once more to each other's faces. And happy were those who dwelt within the eye of the volcanoes and their mountain torch. A fearful hope was all the world contained. Uh, and apparently Demeter's a poet now. Here we go. Guess I will have to- Ow! Ow! Okay, well I took no damage, but it hit me. It's, it staggered me. Guess I will have to upgrade my melee. Do, do more melee damage. That's my thing, like, I don't really see a reason to do a lot of other stuff now, because I pretty much have all the stuff I need. I guess the plant was meant to do something. Maybe to machines, but I don't know. Well, they made the metal flowers here and the vines, so maybe I can find a way to destroy them. If I can find test station Ivy. How do I get out of here? Okay. Hey, look, some windows we could actually jump out of. Great. These guys again. Wherever they are, they won't be dead. I better be careful. Test station Ivy. There you go. That's a lot of dudes. Sadly, there's no, like, double takedown in this game. Rather unfortunately.
What the hell is he doing? A Quen Imperial Guard. Who's Quen? Like a kingdom or something? We've actually never heard of this until now. I could try to line up the Vista point image again. I should be within range. It didn't it it didn't do the thing. It says it and then it doesn't do anything with it. God, he has a rage mode too. For revenge. There we go. They have to kind of be knocked down in order to do that first. Yeah, that, that's just unfortunate. Like sometimes it'll say, uh silent strike and then it won't actually give you the silent strike that's like one thing I'm, I'm not like a super huge fan of is like oh well here's the silent strike and then you actually can't get it yeah ow ow might be an understatement maybe they got a bunch of tribes together maybe the farzinas are working with people ah, i think i missed it I think I hit it right as it faded. Dude. I'm firing. <laughs> uh, as I say for the ancestors, so. What is she doing, sir? She's jumping around like a maniac. Oh my god! go that critical strike wasn't necessary I really wish these people would talk to me instead of trying to kill me oh, no, I need to find more out of this courtyard. well like right over here maybe this wasn't where I came from no okay because I was really just trying to get the silent takedown and basically the game was like no you meant for a normal attack I don't know. It might have been where I was standing, but, you know. I submit. Do as you will. I didn't want to fight your friends out there. They attacked me. By death alone, I can atone our trespass. I'm not going to kill you. I just want to figure out what's going on. Where did you get that focus? Uh, <laughs> I'm of the chosen people. The Quen. The ancestors left the power of the focus to us alone. The eye that reveals the legacy. They have customized focuses? Really? The legacy? Uh, the truth. Now, it is in the darkness and the lost places. Among the ancient ashes and the bones of the before that it lies waiting. No, as a diviner, it is my task to seek it out for the good of my people. You're looking for data. Maybe we can help each other. What's your name? Alpha. Second diviner of the Eastern Expedition. Very nice that she's going to work with me after I just murdered all her friends out there. Okay. I've never heard of the yeah, we've literally never heard of them. Our what the fuck? Lie across the great ocean. Oh. We haven't been here before. So why come now? Our homeland has been ravaged by freakish weather. Terrible storms and blistering droughts. The crops are failing. The people are starving. When we looked for answers, it was proposed that if we had the courage to cross the ocean to Legacy's landfall, then we might earn the knowledge we need to save our people. But so far, that knowledge has eluded us. Okay. So, your people call this place Legacy's Landfall? No. Uh, landfall is where we arrived. To the west, 
in the shadows of the sunken city by the broken bridge. You mean San Francisco? <laughs> yes. You're well versed in the It's completely underwater. That's hilarious. It's probably got a little bit of land to it. We had hoped to learn their secrets there, but so far that door remains closed. Even so, the data we discovered there has led us to this place. It might be our last chance. To find something that can save your crops and your people. Yes. If the ancestors will be generous to us once more. I like how then they just go back to whatever the hell. Like, there's obviously, like, a generic scene when you're supposed to be selecting this. Like, they, they don't phase out of it at all. It's just like, dump them back here. It's so weird. The diviners have possessed this one since it was discovered among the ruins in our homeland. I have their honored names committed to memory. So you have one, but none of the soldiers out there do. No, they're cannon fodder. Who cares about them? Yeah, they're useless. The diviners' purpose to seek out the legacy interpret the wisdom of our ancestors i'm special evolve, and to keep it safe so that no one but the diviners know how to use a focus not even the imperial family and certainly not soldiers so how many diviners are there at landfall a small group uh, back at home a few dozen more that's a guess uh, only the overseers know for sure and i am not of their rank okay so you call data from the ancient past the legacy? Yes. All that is not lost or forbidden. What does that mean? All that we are capable of reading and that which is permitted. That's, yes, okay. we, we get that. <laughs> That's fine. Um, so what do you use the data for? The greatest secrets are the ones that improve the lives of men. How to tend our crops, how to hold floodwaters back, or even across the ocean technology that is what i seek here technology that can help my people back home all right those soldiers they opened fire on me without warning they also killed a bunch of tanakh so they're not totally innocent of the Quen to seek out the legacy at any cost the ignorant and envious not that you seem ignorant Back home, other tribes only mean us harm, and we were told the same was true here. Does that come from your legacy? The legacy is truth. But we have been known to misinterpret it. Okay, sure. I hope time and the wisdom of our ancestors will guide us down the correct path. Yeah. I hope so, too. All right. I'm looking for a place in this facility called Test Station Ivy. Have you found any data that mentions it? No. Uh, but I did find something that looks like a map. Uh, but it was unreadable. Lost. Maybe I can make some sense of it. Uh, there. There's a lot of files here. <sighs> I've been through all of them. Look in the GH facility section. Like I said, a lost file. You can't see the map? Damn, your focus sucks. Maybe they gimped their focuses. It's okay. So they can only see certain like things. What the hell? The yeah. The operating system won't be able to read any files created after the mid-2050s. But I could share them with you. Share them? Here, here's a patch. <laughs> you can see what is lost. And forbidden. Not lost. Not forbidden, just a newer format. There. That's where I need to go. But you can't get there. We've been here for a week trying to get deeper into the complex. The way has been blocked by rubble. Well, what about this tunnel? It looks like it unlocks from here. No. I thought these might be some kind of access controls, but I couldn't read enough data to make them work. Let's try with my focus. Okay? 
All right, well, she's our best friend from now on. Requires synchronize. Oh, there you go. Yep. Come on, let's go. You want me to come ah! with you? Yes. It took both of us to open up that tunnel, didn't it? And I have to have a buddy for this too, so. And how do we go? This place is a maze. According to the map, there should be another exit for the room. Just stay close. Either way. This is kind of cool. This this story just has a lot of twists in it. I'll, I'll say that. I thought the Tanakh were just going to be enemies the whole time. Turns out within like five minutes of us meeting them, they're chill, they're cool, we're best friends. So I guess it kind of works out, right? I don't know about these Quen people, but whatever. At least they don't work for the Zeniths. I was going to say that would be kind of weird. There you go. Like, like, way back. Well, that was loud. What? No, get this out of here. Thank you. The forests were set on fire. Our, uh, were set on fire, but hour by hour they fell and faded in the crackling trunks, extinguished with the crack. Oh my God. Okay. I'm not going to read all that. I feel like I'm back in school reading, like, Henry Davidson Thoreau or whatever his name was. Uh, it would be our way out if the game would let me do it. Thank you. What the fuck? There we go. Through here. You see, Alva, you gotta make your way forward, okay? We haven't tried that smaller tunnel over there. What do she use bronze and silver for? According to the map, the exit should be this way. Yep, look at that. I mean, it's not really much, but whatever. Eventually, I'm going to need to sell that. Must have taken a wrong turn. I'll be glad to get back above ground. Yeah, it feels like a turn down here. I wonder if they'll be like, oh, you worked with someone outside the tribe. We can't take you back. And then she'll just come with us back to base. I, I could kind of see that happening. It's clear they want to build up, like, a team of people because, like, by the end of the first game, let's be fair, we only really cared about Aloy. Like, even Varl wasn't that big of a character in the first game. He was in, like, a couple of story missions. I thought Aaron was a bigger character than him, the way they treated them. Oh, that's gonna be good. That can't be good. They fly to him from the complex several times a day. Only the ancestors know why. Well, the ancestors are dead, Alva. Of course. How else could they be ancestors? Looks like we have more pressing concerns. Follow my lead. Don't worry, she's an expert at combat, I'm sure. What? Oh, this isn't. That's something different. Life in the hot house. She sabotaged the project. You know how many lives could have been lost over an affair? We're going to see what data can be recovered. In the meantime, in the meantime, we spent weeks chasing results that have gone nowhere. Ch 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 Kochansky's project could have been the answer. Can we remember that Dr. Ch Ch Kochansky's libido played a big part in this? Not that big a part. Not helpful. Can we please concentrate on the plant propagation, not the human reproduction? Precisely is our job our responsibility to deliver these crops. That's why I'm reassigning Dr. Samuelson to another team She sabotaged the project and she's staying and we will all have to make up the time we lost how we're already working nights and weekends Which has cut down the levels of infidelity not helpful 
Charles Darwin, a man who dares to waste one hour of time has not discovered the value of life, and we, we hold so much life in our hands. We'll do whatever we have to do to finish our work. I would say two things are infinite, the universe and human stupidity. Do Dr. Samuelson has proven that. Surely we can agree she has to go. She's staying. That comes all the way from the top. Pharaoh, of course. Not the kind of fellow to put ethics ahead of results. Enough. All of you, your objections are noted. Please do not persist unless you want me to take the messaging system offline. Oh, great. Yeah, just everything was fucked up, man. What a what an awful universe to want to be in. <laughs> Every one of the big corpses was just fucking around and finding out and doing dumb shit. And that's so realistic it hurts. We can fight them. Or try to sneak past. Your call. Alright, he comes right over here, we just pop him. Wow! Nope. Okay, she better not fucking block me. I'm gonna be really salty. Come on. Dude, just take another step. Fuck's sake. Oh my god, the long legs is gonna see me by the time he comes close enough. That's what's, that's what's annoying. Didn't really give me much of a choice now, did they? Oh shit, nice. Is this an Apex Claw Strider? No, Fire Claw Strider, okay. Well, he doesn't care. He's like, ah, fuck him. More space for me. Honestly, can you blame him? I'll get you in a minute. Relax. I'm right behind you. Oh wait, she's coming with me? Okay, she said oh, you're leaving. Like that was kind of weird. Maybe we can get what? through that hatch on the ground. It looks like the one we used at the first station. There's consoles up here too. No way to get to them. You stay put. I'll see what I can find. I wonder if we, like, open the flaps on that. I can move these things. Is something gonna pop out? Like, is there a machine okay. stored in one of these? Huh. There's some space back there. Okay. Alright, nothing terrible. I got a bunch of batteries stored up. I never really like using rechargeable batteries as a really random yeah. side note. I also, it always kind of sussed me out. Every every rechargeable I've had is just, you know, they get old and then they get weird. And then they don't work. It's a maintenance bypass key. You 
can hop on top of it, I can get you to those consoles. Exactly. Well, look how nice we're being to this random chick, but not fucking beta at all. Hold it there. Let me just. I jumped on top. Hold on. We're gonna have to move tracks. I see. Help if I can, okay? But first, we have to get out of here. Right. We need to open the hatch. Let's see. Okay. I'm unlocking a storage unit. Okay, sweet. There's so then this is going to be optional. Then you need to find a way into the generator room. Oh no. Have okay. to do this. What the fuck? Aloy. Jeez. So you kinda had to do this. I just didn't notice that until now. Aloy, would, would you mind warning me next time you decide to uh, uh blow up a wall? No, this is how I roll. Varl and Aaron, they love it. Okay. Okay. That brought power back to the doors. You can reach me now. On my way. How did this ladder get here? That's so weird. Okay, whatever. Maybe that ladder was there the whole time and I jumped off for no reason. Okay. We need to operate both consoles simultaneously to open the hatch. I'll get to the other console. You stay here. Alright. At least we don't have to like do a timed three, two, one. Adamantine wreath gonna do. Okay, that's where we need to go. That's specifically, I, I, I just need the thing, man. Oh wait, that's probably not good. That's what those metal plants do. I will shut this thing off. Nice. Nothing good. Oh shit. What were these nano nanobots I think they said they were? That's how the world ended. Yeah. It's a shield to protect them against these things. Share everything with you. It's nothing good. Test log. Um, uh, I think it's Tuesday. Second. Who cares? I'll say this for the end of the world. It's jam packed with irony. We developed biomass conversion here. Infinite food for infinite machines. And now we're racing against time to find something to give them. Oh, well, it works. 
seems like the answer was no. Or maybe it didn't, that's why they were able to disappear. Your ancestors? They were wiped out. Your legacy didn't tell you that? The time of ashes. Most of the data about that is lost or forbidden. Well, they created machines that consumed all life. You just saw how. It's a miracle anything survived. I don't want to know this. This is not why I'm here. I need the wisdom of my ancestors to help save my people, not forbidden knowledge of their sins. I need to find something that helps, something to bring back. The overseers will punish me, or even worse, people will die. Do you understand? My family, my sister. I left her when she was 14. Family, what's that? Could see her bones. They will starve. Alva, I get it. I do. It's hard to explain, but you and I are working toward the same goal. And if I succeed, your people won't need any data. Things will just... They will get better. But even if I believe you, my people won't. I need to bring something back. Okay. Then we'll go to Test Station Ivy. And if I can find a way to kill those vines, then I will have access to the data core. What I need is in there. I'm pretty sure that if I take it, it will unblock access to all the data that this place has. And that will give you some. This is such a huge stretch, but I'm not whatever. Sure I understand. But every secret. Makes its own maze. A diviner must persevere. Sure, okay. Go on. I'll follow. That crisis of faith? Just completely forgotten about. <laughs> we need to keep moving. Test station Ivy can't be far off. Oh shit! Oh, makes this easy. Another okay, maze. cool. Well, lucky for us. I remember when every game used to be linear as fuck. What a great time. They used to charge $60 for straight lines. I mean, I guess after a certain point, you could argue that, you know, open world games are done to death, but I, I find it to be a fun format. It's certainly a more interesting, longer form format, so I don't totally hate it. Plus, open world games have been pretty good lately, all things considered. That's such a good idea. Like, can't those things convert fucking, like, flesh to biomass then? That's what I would be. I'd be very spooked about that. Look at that. There's nothing left. Oh, okay. What the hell is this? A Dreadwing? Yeah, that's appropriate. I'm with you, Aloy. Weak to fire? Okay. Finally an opportunity to use a fire arrow. Would you believe it? Ow. Even though I kind of like Frost a bit better. Frost to me is just more useful, you know? Like, I feel like you get more out of using Frost because it doubles your damage output. But, not much we could do about that right now. Oh, yeah, I thought I had it equipped. Whoops. Damn, I lost all my fire progress.
How do we know that it's even having an effect? Because I don't exactly have hundreds of elemental canisters like before. So the last thing I want to do is waste them all. I guess I put it on fire. What? What? What the fuck is going on? <laughs> What's happening? What? It's like clipping through the ground. Oh shit. This is horrifying. I think he was supposed to... Is he staggered? I, I have no idea what just happened. I guess he, he lights on fire and then he's just supposed to like fall down. It's not even really attacking anymore. I like how he lands in water and he's still on fire. I mean, that that's that's good on our side. Like, that would be pretty bad otherwise, right? But the thing is, is he never turned visible again. So I don't know, like, what I'm hitting or how much damage I'm dealing to him or anything. Oh, I barely, I just, I just know I'm hitting him because I could see him right there. See? Like, he's staggered right now. Yeah, I think the fight glitched out. I don't think it's supposed to do this. Hopefully he's... Yeah, it looks like he's still taking damage, like he's sparking a lot. But I think he was supposed to stand up, and he hasn't stood up yet. Like... Something something went wrong, I think. Because this is water, and maybe he's not supposed to land in water. I think my game glitched out. And I don't think I'll be progressing. See, because he's not getting up. Oh my god, I'm going to have to redo that. Let's see, let's see if he gets up. I think he's legit glitched in the water. Like, he's stuck in it like molasses. See, she's not doing anything. So there's no way to progress because he I can't kill him now. Well, that's fun. You probably fight him and he gives you the ability to burn stuff and that's how we get out of here. Well, what can I say? You play a new game, sometimes you get new game bugs. Because I can't even see his health bar, right? Like, if I could at least see his health bar, I'd know I'm, what I'm doing is right. I think I glitched him when he landed on this. I think he never stood up and started flying again properly. So I'll just shoot him for a few more seconds here. Okay, never, never mind. He, he definitely glitched, but at least I could progress. Holy shit. <laughs> yeah, it was terrifying for the wrong reasons. We should be able to get into test station Ivy now. That was terrifying. <laughs> there has to be some data here on the adamantine wreath we can use. Yeah, which is like everything important. Any sufficiently advanced technology is indistinguishable from magic, Arthur C. Clarke. But you are supposed to understand the trick once it is done. When the curtain pulls back to reveal the mirrors, yet I still have no idea how we achieve this act of scientific conjuring. It's not just the speed with which the projects have come together or the stability of the results, despite the complexity of the bioengineering. It isn't even the huge variety of crops that can now be made more heat, draw, and disease resistant. It's the simple fact that all these results are tangible. No announcements in scientific journals, no celebrating predictions born from simulations. Our research has become manifest in physical artifacts. Where a dream took root in an abandoned industrial site four years ago, there now stands row upon row of automated fast farming units, each of which can conduct gene manipulation in the field, the actual field. These robots analyze soil composition, light intensity, temperature, wind speed, and a hundred other factors. Then utilizing the gene structures we create, they can select or construct a plant to produce the best yields for that location. 
Of course, all the all the crops these units create are best harvested by other fast machines. When a population is starving, what government is going to quibble about being forced to use our robots to speed things up? Should I be uncomfortable watching Ted Farrow's coffers swell with money from the desperate and the starving? Maybe, but I know that it is his belief, money, and drive that has filled the world's empty stomachs. Desperation can only be experienced by the living, and we have given them back their lives. Us, our work, Pharaoh's resources. Science triumphs to get, uh, together. We have changed the world. So this is before they created all the death machines and everything. Find something? The fourth test station. Willow. It looks like it's underwater. Oh, don't jinx it. Hmm. I'm going to look sometime. This console's still operational. There you go. Ancient sculpture and gold ingot. Wait, hold on. What the fuck? Oh, she's using a certain type of arrow. I was wondering. So it was all for nothing. Schematics for the vine cutter. Okay. I need a workbench to load the module onto my spear. There's one back at our camp. The map showed a path leading back there past the next room. Ah, nice. Very convenient. Okay, with this we could finally do like all the stuff that we've been like missing out on. There was like a, a different metal flower in like every area. Marjane uh, Nafisi has resigned. For Marjane's letter is with regret that I resign. I share that regret, Marjane. You served as an excellent deputy, but no single person is above the team or the project. I came to create life, not to destroy it. After all we've achieved together, I did not expect such lack of vision. Yes, our research has shifted direction, but biomass conversion is no different than burning wood in a stove or distilling ethanol from molasses. It is a method to release solar energy that was captured organically. Yes, there are military applications for this technology, but that does not mean there is a logical, moral argument against biomass conversion itself. To say so is emotional petulance, plain and simple. The saddest aspect of life right now is that science gathers knowledge faster than society gathers wisdom. For Nafisi and to end her letter with a quotation made a direct attack. Childish, disappointing, personal. Any sadness I might have had about her departure left me in that moment, but I wish her luck in whatever position she is able to find, but the greenhouse will continue on all the stronger now that it is free from such narrow thinking. I'll sum up another quote, one better suited to the circumstance. Nothing in life is to be feared, it is only to be understood. Now is the time to understand more so we may fear less. Marie Curie. It's, 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 okay, that was Aquino. So I guess that this is before they, they fucked everything up. I'm, I'm half familiar with the dates. Yeah, see, this is from 2049. So she left because I guess she saw that biomass conversion was just going to be fucking... It was going to be a terrible, terrible idea. And she saw it before anyone else could see it. Dude, she could do everything. What the fuck? Diviners are like apparently like peak peak physical, peak everything. We can use the line to get down. Uh, right. Easy. Yes. See? It's not that bad. Oh, this is where you butchered all my comrades. Uh, okay. 
the vine cutter. It's the final upgrade. Now what? Now we get to that data core. As I was saying, I still can't believe he took on all these soldiers by himself. But we better make haste. After we encountered barbarians, our lieutenant called for reinforcements. I think I'm back in range. Could be here to be done. Right. I mean, they're your comrades. <laughs> Yeah, they're really, they're really posing it that, you know, ah, oh, Aloy's my new best friend now. Fuck these guys. Okay. Let's hope this new module works. Use melee attacks to open it. I was blooming. Let's see if the software works. Clear now. Alright. That that's it. I thought it would be something cool like an explosion or something. Nah, it, it wasn't anything ridiculous. It's just plants that would have made them like experience indigestion, like you said. It's time to go home. Yes. Alpha Prime. Master override activated. Restoring to meter subordinate function to original code. Are we gonna get captured or something on the way back? What did you do? I've never seen my focus glitch like that. Uh, I found a special type of data. It's something you can't read. But I kept a tight grip on the data core. But now you should have access to the central server. Love it. Should give you something to bring home. You were right. Hundreds of archives. Almost all of it relating to agriculture. It would take us years to get through all of this. But we don't have that kind of time. What you said before about... <laughs> oh, shit! Yeah, I told you, they don't care. Ancestors, you must stop. Come, look at who you fired on. That barbarian killed our soldiers. Uh, only those who fired blindly. She is no barbarian. She gave me the data we need. I mean, these guys are having a complete responsible reaction. <laughs> Can't you see? Elizabeth Sovek stands before you, an ancestor reborn. Oh, okay. <laughs> well, this is a change of pace. Diviner. Well, we should bring the ancestor back. It is we who follow their word, Commander, not the other way around. Uh, my apologies, Dr. Sobek. Our people's faith is strong, but there are those who are not as familiar with the legacy as they should be. Yeah, Alva. The Diviner. The data has you two, with me. The rest of you, meet us back at the beach for return to landfall. That's right, fuck those guys in particular. All the people we murdered ahead of time. I can't talk long. They will have many questions. So do I. Your people know a lot about the past. And about Sobek, I guess, but... They're... Please, I must know. What you said before about working towards the same goal? How long will it take? I don't know. A few months? And you are my family's best hope. Let nothing get in your way. You have opened my eyes to many things, and for that, I thank you. But now you must go. Will I see you again? Soon we return to Legacy. Yeah, Square. probably there. It might be dangerous for you to go there. Tell me how to reach it, just in case. We made landfall on the northeast edge of the sunken city. The currents around the archipelago are vicious, and the only approach is from the south. And it is guarded. Only attempt to go there if you must. Diviner, what's the delay? Uh, I'm talking with an ancient. Hello. <laughs> if you attempt to stay here any longer, they may want to take you with us, and that won't go well for anyone. It's kind of weird because she doesn't really look like 
Elizabeth Sobek too much, I would say. But, I mean, it's close enough, I guess. Elizabeth Sobek had, like, short hair. Beta kind of looks a little bit more like her. So, eh, whatever. Yep. There was one, I think, in, like, the center of that area. But we, we could come back later if we really want to do it. What the hell? Okay. Oh my god, look at this. Look at this line. <laughs> uh, let's see if we can get to a campfire first. That's probably just like a better bet. See, because I think there was something in one of these. I guess later on, she said they made landfall to something else. Like, I, I'm guessing there must be like some kind of land you could go to over there. Um, there must be some way to like... She might have a quest here at some point, because they did talk about it. All right, but there's not really anything up here. There's just like a couple of camps, but because there's so many fast travel points, they aren't really you don't really need to do them like before. There's so many fast travel points, and I mean the merchants aren't really worth it. Like I don't even know if you get anything for clearing out camps. I think you just get like experience points. So maybe the level cap is smaller this time. You're just supposed to do more experience points. Jeez, the forest is thick here. But yeah, we're 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 pretty far into this game, and we still have not like seen anything at all to do with like San Fran, which is literally the box art of this game. I think it's kind of interesting, honestly. Usually, box arts from the game hide the latter portion of the game. This one is just not even bothering. But that said, you still wouldn't have gotten spoiled on anything, because so much stuff in this game is just, like, so off the wall and crazy. Oh, shit. It always... I mean, it's good that it highlights no. I'll say that. I shouldn't complain about it highlighting no. There you go. Okay. All the way back. But... There you go. I want to know what happens. That's really the thing. I'm, I'm interested. What can I say? <laughs> Shit, I thought I had to pry this open for some reason. Time for Aloy to be a complete bitch to Beta again, for no reason. <laughs> it is good to see you again, Aloy. I see you have recovered Demeter. Yep. But that only means that now our guy is as strong as their Gaia. It's just our guy has all the functions necessary to sustain the biosphere. What are we going to use this for? With the acquisition of Ether, Poseidon, and Demeter, my heuristic processing density has expanded greatly. I should now be able to absorb Hephaestus. Unfortunately, we have made progress on a plan to capture it. With Varl's encouragement, Beta analyzed all available information on Hephaestus. Its expansion has been rampant. It is too large to be being cast and the kernel you have been using could never hold it. Therefore, it must be contained in a location with a direct physical connection to me. A place with two data cores. Two cores? Where would we find a place like that? Shall I? Oh, the cauldron? An abandoned cauldron. Oh my god! Ha <laughs> ha! I was ahead of the game! Okay. Ah, okay, gotcha. I've been there. The Tanakh marked the entrance as some kind of ritual route. Oh, sweet, yeah, you get that nice, that, that nice line, okay. 
I have devised a blueprint for a suitable, albeit unwieldy, transport ring. It will require two people to carry it to Gemini. This is so risky. Once I am installed on the first core, I will call down Hephaestus on the other, trapping it. I will then initiate the merge. However, in order to construct the rig, I will need considerable help. Can you build it? I suppose I could, but it's not going to work. The Zeniths will find you. Minerva won't be able to conceal your location. That is correct. Absorbing Hephaestus will create a significant power. So we can maybe distract them? Detected by anyone capable of noticing. But what if there were multiple power surges? Yeah. To fake out the Zeniths. If Erend, Zoe, and Catalo spread out to the other cauldrons and create their own surges, would those conceal the one at Gemini? Analyzing. Such a tactic might be effective. With Beta's help, we should be able to build a set of handheld pulse generators. I told you it's not gonna work. I did a test. Hephaestus has written out the clearance out of its access module. You'll never be able to capture it. Then we need a higher level of clearance. There is no higher... <laughs> but where the hell will we find that? ...to purge the Apollo database and kill the Alphas. But to get it, you would have to find thieves. The private bunker he retreated to... What? Ended, ...and nobody knows where that is, not even the Zeniths. Their only intel was that it was somewhere in San Francisco. Right out... That might be all yep, there you go. So we know where the game ends. We have to go to Gemini at the end. So now we would go there. She might be able to help. So I guess I'm headed all the way west. While I'm gone. Will you be able to build the rig and the pulse generators? Dude, Hephaestus is like legitimately a bigger villain than Hades almost. Hades is just doing his function. Hephaestus is cunning. That's crazy. I'm glad I didn't skip the Frozen Wilds. Alright. Well, this plane is still gonna go tits up. Yeah. Pharaoh's tomb. Ha 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 ha. Very funny. Understood. <laughs> the servers. This was Kotalo's room. What the hell is this? This is Zoe and uh, Varl's room. I'm not really sure what this room is supposed to be for. Like, I guess maybe later there'll be DLC for it. That could be one thing. Like, a lot of games will do that. They'll have rooms, like, pre-set pre, pre -set up for DLC. You know what I mean? Looks like Aaron and Catalo moved their stuff in. Yeah, okay, that's kind of cool. Oh, looks like I can open that door now. Which door? Gaia, what was this room for? This was intended to be a recreational room for control center operatives. I see, like a like an arcade room. They got like full on displays. So that's probably his quest, is we have to like track down all the different war camps. I have to travel beyond the western coast. To the ruins shrouded in fog. Yes. And I'm looking for a tribe, the Quen. I encountered them once before. They said they came from across the great ocean. I was hoping the Danakh knew more about them. There were rumors of trespassers in the area, but we thought they were just bandits. Hikaro sent out a patrol or two, but I don't recall them reporting back. Yeah, they're dead. Had more pressing concerns, as you know. I'm sorry. That's all I can tell you. It's okay. I guess I'll find out soon enough. There is something I've been meaning to discuss with you. It's personal. If you have a moment to spare. Okay, sure. You said there was something you wanted to talk about? I've been speaking with Gaia. 
She mentioned that the Zeniths bind metal with flesh to make themselves stronger. I was wondering... If yeah, to give him back his arm. The same. You want to make yourself a new arm? Yes. Gaia insists she can help me build such a thing if I can get the necessary data and materials. She believes these things lie in the place where Beta hid from the Zeniths. Their ancient research lab. I am not as familiar with old world machinery as you are. I could use your This is fine, because that's exactly what I said. We could, Dangerous. you know, there should be something for prosthetics in her, right? In like our database. You were lucky to get out of there alive the first time. I see. It sounds like this is worth the risk. By the ten, we shall see it through. And imagine if that's a science we could repurpose. Like, that would jump us ahead thousands of years. Should you need reinforcements? I know who to call. Alright, so we could do his quest too. Yeah. So it seems like each one of our companions has a personal quest that you could talk to them with to get what was lost. And there was also Zoe's quest. I don't know about Aaron and everyone else, though. Yeah, to, to, ta, Talana... Uh, what was lost is level 30, but I mean, we're almost there anyway, right? These actually reward more, which is kind of funny, but whatever, we could, we could do that. Um, okay, so I guess what we'll do next time is we could go ahead and do that. Pretty much, I think, for the, what is it, the next main quest is what? Pharaoh's Tomb. Journey across the bay to the ancient ruins of San Francisco. Okay, that's what... What the fuck? Why does it stop here? Oh, because I, unsele I unselected. <laughs> I'm like, wait, what? What's happening? Yeah, there you go. See, we gotta go all the way out here. I guess something happens when we get there. So maybe what we could do is we could take some time to sort of fill in some of the map. Like, honestly, I I'm not gonna fill in like a thousand of these, right? Oh, look, Fire Claws from the DLC. I'm not gonna fill in like everything, right? Like, there's, there's no reason to. For some reason, this tall neck is also marked as unknown. So I guess the game has like a weird glitch where like certain tall necks don't get marked as completed for some reason. But like what I would do is let, let's do some of the side quests because I'm, I'm done for right now because I'm going to record something else. Let's do some of the side quests, right? Um, Maybe some of the camps, I don't know. And uh, then afterwards, I guess what we could try to do as well is I still want to find like a good bow. That's like, I want to find like a purple bow that's good. There's a cauldron up there. We could try to go there. That might be one thing to do. We need to clean out like this part of the map. But what I'm trying to do is like, is there like another city we could go to? I guess we could stop at Thorn Marsh. This would be like the last place that I would think to look. Because we have totally not gone this way at all. This would be like the last place I would think to look for like a better bow. You know what I mean? So maybe, because we've been to like every other major settlement. I'm looking for a purple bow. So it'd be like this and Thorn March. And, that, and then after that, we could kind of go all the way out, you know, all over the place and try to fill in some stuff. Now there's these big question marks. And I'm not sure if that's like significant or anything. So maybe what we could do is next time I play, we try to clean up some of the map like this. So maybe that's what I'll do. Okay.